Hey guys, Ryan here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get Minecraft shaders for 1.5.1. Now, I had a lot of people asking me how to do it, um, because of the video I uploaded yesterday, which was third-person Minecraft, it was sort of cinematic using shaders. Um, actually, the video will be on screen as I'm talking. Um, but basically, people were wondering how I got it 1.5.1, because on the official site, they only have it for 1.4.7. Uh, so basically, I'm just going to be showing you guys how I got it and how you can too. So there's a few things you need for this. Um, first, being a fresh install of Minecraft, uh, WinRAR archive, Archiver, or 7-Zip, really any of them, uh, and then the three download links that will be in the description. So first, let's go ahead and get a fresh copy of Minecraft. You just want to go Force Update. Uh, I guess you could use mods, but you know that's at your own risk. I don't really know what's compatible or not. I know Forge is compatible with um, shaders but other than that I don't really know so you might have some compatibility issues and that sort of thing now let's see if this loads which it isn't right now well while that goes um, I'll just show you if you need WinRAR um, then go ahead and download it link will be in the description obviously um, if not then you're all set to go next thing you're gonna need is Optifine uh, there we go so we can just close that out. Next thing you're going to need is Optifine. So we can just download that. Shaders pack. This is going to be the different types of shaders. You know, different, basically the texture packs of shaders. You can go ahead and download that. And then this is the actual mod itself. Now now that you have those files, um, in Chrome, you know, they just chill here. But if you want to drag those to your desktop or whatever, I'm just going to use them from uh, right down here. But, you know, as long as you know how to get to them, you'll be fine. Now what you want to do is open up your start menu. Um, type in run, go ahead and hit enter. You want to type in percent app data percent, and then it'll bring you over to your Minecraft folder. I have dual monitors, so it popped up in the other one. My bad. You want to go hit the dot Minecraft, double click on bin, and then you see a Minecraft dot jar file. Right click on that, open that with WinRAR or 7-Zip or really whatever archiver you have. Then we can see the files inside. First things first, delete meta inf. Go ahead and just delete. Yes. Now, what we want to do is open up first Optifine. This is Optifine Ultra. And just drag all these files straight into the Minecraft jar. There we go. Hit OK. We can just go ahead and close that. Now we want to open up the shaders mod itself. Copy all these files and drag those straight into the Minecraft jar. OK. OK. Now we can just go ahead and close both of those. Don't open the shaders pack yet, or if you want to, whatever, but we don't need it right now. Go ahead and open up Minecraft again. Okay, if it ever opens. There we go. Just go ahead and log in. And if you did this correctly, you won't get black screen. You'll go through the Mojang, you know, loading screen, whatever, fine. Now we can go single player. I'll just go to the new world I created. Um and here we have the shaders mod so a lot of times it won't start off with that because I don't um, I had the packs actually already in but let's say uh, let me just take off the there we go so when you spawn in you'll actually see um, this just the regular minecraft texture pack you won't see any um, shaders but what you're gonna want to do is click on the shaders uh, folder one sec, let me go to none so I can just delete them all and show you again. Now, anyway, what you'll see is um, basically that. It'll say new Optifine version uh, on the bottom left, and you'll just have regular Minecraft. Now, it's spawning up the world. I am on far, so I'm going to take a little sec. Um, but you don't have any shaders. Now, you'll notice the shaders option, but you won't have any, you know, any options or any packs. So, what you want to do is click open shader packs folder. Uh, and you'll see an empty folder. Now you go back to your shader packs folder. Uh, just double click here and just drag all of these packs into the shader packs folder. Now you'll see these here and you'll also see them in the Minecraft game. Uh, you can kind of mess around with what you prefer. I personally like the shaders let's play. Um, you know, but there's a really a lot of different ones. They all affect the water, uh, look the trees move. Um, it's just a really nice looking mod. There's the cinematic flares when you look at the sun. Uh, I mean, look at this water. It's just really nice. And it makes Minecraft, you know, a really enjoyable game. Now, I will say this is very um, 
PC intensive, so if you don't have a good computer or a good graphics card or any of that, you will have a, definitely a hard time, uh, first of all, loading the game or even running it at all. Uh, I mean, honestly, even on short with shaders, you can't really do anything. I mean, I'm afar, I could really crank it up as far as I want, um, but really, it's just use it as your own discretion, too. So thanks, guys, for watching. Uh, hopefully, that helped you out. And uh, if you do anything with the shaders mod, like a Let's Play or maybe a cinematic, um, just send it over to me. Leave it as a video response or send me a message, and I'll be glad to um, you know take a look at that for you. So thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you later.